AppliCAD software includes a large range of tools, special tools, for uh, constructing different roof geometry. Most of these are a single mouse click, especially under the Modify Roof function. But every now and then, a roof shape comes along that requires some extra skill, primarily on your behalf. And once you master the tools that are available in the software, there is no roof shape you cannot create, cannot model, and in which case, there is no job you cannot estimate. In this particular case, we use the mod roof command to create a Dutch gable, but it leaves a bit of geometry floating around, which is a bit of a mess. This is the result we're after, and, uh, and let me show you now how we get there. So first of all, let's uh, start with a new job. And uh, to save time, I will recover the outline that I've just used. There we go. I presume you already know how we construct the outline. We're not going to change it. This will be hips and valleys, and whatever the pitch is. And there are no other features. We use our modify roof function to add our Dutch cable. And some of you may not have realized, but there is a little trick with our Dutch cable function. If we put a negative number in, as suggested by this prompt, say minus 4, the Dutch cable is built down the roof. The default value is halfway between the flashing line and the apex of the ridge. In this instance, to keep it simple, we'll have a gable overhang of 0. So there we have a mess. If we go to our isometric view, you'll see how much of a mess. It's close, but not quite finished. So let's just spin this around a little bit, so I can see where we're working. About there, using the space bar to stop the repaint. Now, when you modify a roof such as this, you must delete all the roof planes that are affected by the uh, messed up geometry. We can also delete the gable end plane. We then use the functions from Construct Roof Smart Lines and we use the Trim Corner function. Pick the most obvious lines to trim first so that apron line will trim with that valley line. This ridge line will trim with this rake line. No, not that one, that one. Now we copy a line and the line we want is this one snap it into place there using the middle mouse button and trim it to a corner. Beautiful. Delete the lines we don't need and reinsert the planes. And there we have it. Practice this and as you, uh, as you do, you will find that uh, there is no roof shape that you cannot tackle. Quick and easy. See you at the next tutorial.